Utilizing solid printed models of virus components and magnets representing the attractive forces between them, we can produce a physical analog capable of self-assembly by random shaking. The model demonstrates not only how nature accomplishes this feat, but can show some of the subtle characteristics of the stochastic assembly. Notice that the sub-assemblies form and break apart en route to the most stable structure. The strength of the shaking is analogous to the temperature of the molecular environment. If it's too hot, the virus will break apart. If it is in the proper range, assembly will take place at an optimal pace. To accomplish that, and the way viruses do that is they take advantage of small subunits, many copies. So now we're going to demonstrate self-assembly. So here I have a little pentagon with a nice uh, Texas Lone Star printed on the top. There's nothing special about this. So I'm going to put 12 of these in this cell. And I'm going to shake them up. And nothing happens. Now, the reason nothing happened is there's not complementary binding sites. On the other hand, here's another pentagon. Looks a little bit like it's a five protein. But I've inserted magnets on the sides of opposite polarity. And this is a demo I saw many years ago by Art Olson at Scripps uh, uh, Laboratory. And I think it illustrates this very nicely. So you can have repulsive effects, you can have attractive effects. So let's see what happens if we place these particles in the cell and give it a little bit of energy. Not too much, not too little. If we don't do much, it doesn't do much, but give it a little more energy. Let it, sample, let it sample different molecular states, and you can see it's not there yet. But give them some time. self-assembled particle looks sort of like that, <clears throat> illustrating the principles of self-assembly.